Hi guys, thank you so much for joining this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will see how to post XML data to a REST service. In the previous tutorial, we saw how to submit or how to cre create a REST service which accepts JSON data and the JSON data was the book object. Now in this tutorial, we will see how to submit XML data to the REST service. So just to keep the tutorial short and to avoid repetition, I'll just copy this file and I'll create a XML version. <coughs> so we'll, so post JSON, this one I'll call as post XML service. Okay. Now let's open the file. So now we will change this file as per our needs. So first thing we need to change is the path. So instead of post JSON, we'll say post XML. And uh, then it's going to produce, I want to send back XML data. So I'll say XML. Now it's also going to consume XML. So we'll against XML. And I want to send the XML back as a book object. So I'll say book. Now for this example, we will see how we can do it without headers because basically we have not even used headers. So we can remove the headers from here for, as a parameter because we are not using it anywhere in the method. <coughs> now we see that there is a book creator dot get book. So book creator is a utility class and the method I have created just to hard code two books head first Java and head first design pattern and add it to array list. Now that array list is getting returned in this book. So whatever data is sent as XML will be through the book object and that book is named as book one and it's added to the array list. Now finally, I will actually return the same book object from this uh, method. So let's call it or let's say book one. Okay. Same object, whatever is received, just to show that it was received here. Now, uh, what we will do is we will clean the project. And uh, I think I have to save it. Yeah. So I just want to point out one thing uh, and bring it to your attention that since this book object will be returned or accepted as XML or we need the, we need to represent XML representation of this book, we need to add this root element, uh, which is called XML root element, which is part of Java X XML bind annotation and we have to give a name. So this name is the root element of the XML structure which will hold the book. So we will see how to create a book object. So now we have, uh, now we will again rebuild the project because I had, for, I, I forgot to save it earlier. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to start the server. Okay, so the server is started. Go to Postman and uh, we'll say localhost. Uh, we'll pick this. Then let's go back to the code. So we are going to use post XML. So we change it to post XML. Now in the header, so let's see what it expects. It is going. It says consumes application underscore XML. That means it's expecting XML object. So now we'll say content type. That means we are going to send what kind of content. So we'll say application dash XML. So there is the content which we will send from this client. <coughs> 
So one thing we need to change is the method type. So it's going to be post. So I'll, I'll select post in the postman. And now let's give a body. So this body will be the representation, XML representation of the book. Now let's see the book. So what it says is that root element is going to be called book. So let's do that. So we'll say book. And now what does the book contain? It contains two fields, name and serial number. So let's take the name. So it will be a name tag. And we will say uh, my experiments with truth. <clears throat> and second field is called serial number. I'll copy this. And we will say serial number three. Okay. So our fields are ready. Now let's submit the application and see what happens. So as you can see that it was sent back from the uh, service and I can see back that see that my, my book is getting returned. So that means it was posted properly. The post method accepted it and returned it back. So guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you in understanding how to post XML data to a REST service. And uh, in the next tutorial, we will see how to return array list of books. So instead of just a single object, let's say we want to return entire list of books, how to do that, we will see it in the next tutorial. So I will just hope that you will try it yourself and see how to do it. Happy learning. Please like my video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you again. Bye.